Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about application of many of the devices that we've covered here under the heading of Eat Your Vegetables. This is the kind of video that I probably need to make more often because it gets more into the fun and uh, again, like the thumbnail and the title of this video, practice is one thing, playing is another thing. So we, we want to make those things that we practice we want to help to nudge those into the application zone mentally, or however you would want to word that. Anyway, before we move on, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. You can hit me up for Skype sessions. You'll find an email in the description. Also, tip jar information if you want to help out like that. So, you, I'm going to just choose um, like a G chord jam. When we play, we want to think about working on rhythmic things to play, as well as lead. And it, that doesn't mean that we, that we have to be working on our bluegrass chop. So in the key of G, I'm going to play the C major scale. That's a mixolydian mode. I've got things here on the channel about modes and chord scales. I'm not going to get into the specifics of those today. If you need to dig into that content, you'll find it all. Some of it's buried. I think the channel has like maybe close to 90 videos are here at this point. But if we were to play the G scale, or I mean start on the G note and play a C scale. Now we're going to have F notes instead of F sharp, which is what we would have if we were playing the G major scale. So that's going to be that mixolydian sound. That's playing the C scale in first position. You could think of the exercises where we would use intervals. I'll go through one of those, just broken thirds. the C scale first position. So what else do we know about that scale? Let's get our riff going now. Recognize those shapes. We start on G. If I go to C right here, There's the double stop scale. We would certainly... We want to know that all over the fretboard. The riff that I'm playing is just like those three shapes. Playing it over G. Slide into that major third note. There I actually went all the way up. To this F that we would have at the 7th and the 8th fret. So it's kind of like I'm practicing that double stop scale, but not really. I'm just playing at this point. So I can put those thoughts together. Other double stops, this C scale. I'm just gonna stop here on the G. I know that if I, I keep going, I could get all the way up to a C here, back to what I'm kind of thinking of as the root, because this is all C scale, but we're playing in G. So that whole line was based on those shapes of the of this C double stop scale. You may have learned those more along the lines of knowing the arpeggios. You can play that whole chord scale. 
as arpeggios like that. There's a video here about that. So now this is the whole deal. Like we're bringing all of this together. Another video that I did this same approach with, I called improvisational roadmaps, where you can think of two or three different devices that are really going to provide the foundation for a chord like this or a jam kind of thing that you're going to play over. And I think these things are really important to do because then from this point forward, when a G chord presents itself, it doesn't have to be that you're playing in the key of G. It could just be a G that appears as part of some other chord progression in a different key. All of this information is going to kind of boot up. That's why it's so important to do these kinds of things and put all of this together. Again, more like under the, just thinking about it as if we're playing and not necessarily practicing. playing and not really practicing, but using a lot of the different devices that we've talked about here on the channel. Think of all the different possibilities when you could take each, you know, modes that are going to be, be really useful, like this G Mixolydian sound. Do this with the key signatures that you know you're going to use if you play a lot of bluegrass. And I, I did a video about a, a modal approach to bluegrass in B that was a minor, like a Dorian mode. Same thing where you could come up with a roadmap of different things to play over. And hopefully this will be fun. And if you have requests, like for specific key signatures that you'd want to hear me talk about with this kind of thing, shoot me an email or put it in the comments here, okay? I hope this helps.